Welcome to Electron Online. Here's our next example of how to apply factoring to word problems that, inc that include quadratic equations. So here we have the sum of two numbers is 60 and their product is 800. Find the two numbers. So it's always good to start with let x equal. And in this case, let x equal hmm, the first number. Now, what should we call the next number? Well, if the sum of them is 60, then we can say that 60 minus x is equal to the second number. Okay, so now we've defined the two numbers because we're given that the sum is 60, so if x is the first number, then 60 minus x is the second number. Now they're telling us that the product of the two numbers is 800 which means that the first number, x, times the second number, 60 minus x, must equal 800. And here we have our quadratic equation that we must solve. Of course, we first must multiply things out. So we get 60x minus x squared equals 800. And then moving everything over to one side, we get 0 equals x squared. And I say x squared, now write 8. Let's try this again x squared minus 60x plus 800. And now we have to solve that using factoring. So here we go, 0 is equal to the product of two binomials, x and x. Notice that this is positive and this is negative, which means that both numbers must be negative because when I multiply, I get a positive number, and when I add them, I get a negative number. So negative and negative. So two numbers, when I multiply, I get 800. When I add, I get minus 60. Well, 20 and 40 come to mind because 20 plus 40 is 60, and 20 times 40 is 800. So that looks like it works. So 40 and 20, which means that if I multiply two binomials and that equals 0, that either the first or the second binomial is equal to 0. So that means that x minus 40 equals 0 or x minus 20 equals 0. And that, of course, then means that x equals 40 or x equals 20. Now, even though we say or, because it can only be one or the other at the same time, because they can't be both the solution at the same time, but that does tell us that there's two numbers, one that's 40 and one that's 20. And so, if I let 1 equals 20, 60 minus 20 is 40, and 20 times 40 is 800, and that will solve our problem. And that is how it's done.